Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stefan. In this episode, I'd like to discuss about pulmonary fibrosis nursing or interstitial lung disease, ILD nursing. This is a very, very important topic. This is to do with basically one of the most important components of pulmonary fibrosis care. And I really, really mean that because it can consistently improve patient satisfaction with care and pathways involved in their care, and it can help you deal with this awful condition. So having access to ILD or interstitial lung disease specialist nurses can make all the difference in the world if for someone who suffers with pulmonary fibrosis. So what is an ILD specialist nurse? And I'd like to just explain this role in this video because it's hugely important. An ILD specialist nurse basically is a nurse who is trained to look after patients who suffer with interstitial lung diseases or pulmonary fibrosis. And typically, the specialist nurse will be linked to a tertiary specialist or a large referral center where ILD care is performed because interstitial lung disease is generally quite rare. So most patients need to travel quite different uh, to different places where there's a big center where their condition can be managed in an optimal way. Now, in different countries, there may be different arrangements for delivering interstitial lung disease nursing or pulmonary fibrosis nursing. But overall, this role may include the following. First of all, it may be the first point of contact for patients with ILD or interstitial lung diseases or pulmonary fibrosis. And, th as, and this is because ILD or pulmonary fibrosis care is usually done on an outpatient basis. So patients do not stay in the hospital for their treatment. They take patient treatments at home, they manage their symptoms at home in the community, or they may live far away from the referral, the large tertiary center where they are being seen for this condition. Usually the nurses will give out a phone number, so it would be maybe a hotline that can be you know, called when the event that you're struggling with your symptoms, with your medication, with logistical problems, or to just call for general advice. So generally the first point of contact for ILD patients is this ILD specialist nurse. So it's basically a very, very important role. Also, ILD specialist nurses handle the logistics of care. And they have an important role to play in that. And that's really, really important because it's a very, very complicated area. You can imagine that there are different rare medications that can be prescribed, antifibrotic medications, immunosuppressants, other things. There may be blood tests in the community that need to be done and then sent. The results need to be sent to this specialist center for for management, for further management. Patients may see different doctors in their local community and in other hospitals, and there's only one ILD specialist center maybe a few hours away. So this is where the specialist nurse can really help integrate everything related to the care. And it's important that having access to good specialist nursing in this field allows you to, to bridge this gap when patients need to travel long distances to see their the main care providers for ILD. The other thing, a third really important thing that uh, is handled by specialist nurses is they provide symptom management advice. And this can relate to breathlessness management, cough management. Sometimes uh, specialist nurses may be trained in certain forms of therapy that are not necessarily medication-based. So things like cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT, they can sometimes provide that to help you learn how to cope, better to co coping strategies for, for this condition that's terrible, pulmonary fibrosis, interstitial lung diseases can be terrible conditions. So it's important to know what to do and how to cope and how to handle the situation better. Fan therapy may be recommended sometimes. So just having a little handheld electric fan that can help you with your relieve breathlessness. That's something that the specialist nurse may advise on. The fourth important thing is that specialist nurses may identify patient needs and limitations more so than doctors do because with a doctor you generally have a very short consultation and i know this from experience sometimes i don't have the time to go over all the details so i need to refer to my patients to see the specialist nurse for further advice so the ILD nursing uh, team may identify certain home arrangements that need to be put in place, certain carers that the patient may need in their local community. Uh, they may assess them for capacity to perform certain activities of daily living, so such as cooking, cleaning, looking after themselves, and what, what else may be, do, uh, may, be, may be needed. They may be involved in dealing with certain social issues or identifying other problems that our patients may suffer from, for example, alcohol abuse and other things where patients may require a little bit of help, maybe smoking cessation. There's a lot of aspects that go into ILD care. So the specialist nurse have a really huge role to play in that regard. Also, 
they may highlight the need for the patient to go on pulmonary rehabilitation programs. They may know the local area very well and, and have the right connections and the network to refer patients appropriately to the best programs for exercise. They may also identify the need for a referral to be made for supplementary oxygen, ambulatory oxygen, extra oxygen when this is needed. So this is really important. And also they may identify the need for palliative care. So when the condition is very advanced, so when the pulmonary fibrosis is very, very advanced and severe, or maybe there may be a need for end-of-life discussions and conversations and putting all the affairs in order and making plans for the future. That's where the specialist nurses may become really, really involved in the care and they have a huge role to play. So again, depending on the country, they may also get engaged in other activities. So the ILD specialist nurses may perform other duties as well, which is very, very helpful. So sometimes they may counsel patients for the benefits and risks of going on certain medications such as antifibrotic or anti-scarring medications. And I know we do this in the UK. They may also help the doctors to monitor and highlight abnormal blood tests. Like I mentioned before, in the field of interstitial lung diseases, we sometimes have anti-scarring or antifibrotic medication. We may have immunosuppressant medication. And these uh, tablets generally require uh, regular monitoring bloods. So blood tests that are done in the community usually or at a family practice um, or general practitioner um, room just to, to see whether the patient is tolerating the medication well. So we need to do these routine blood tests to check for liver function, um, kidney function, blood counts, etc. So these blood tests are then faxed or emailed to the ILD specialist center where the nurses generally collate them, identify the certain problems and highlight these to the doctors, or they may action the blood themselves depending on their training. So sometimes these blood tests can be done quite often. So you can imagine it can be really hard for a doctor to keep track of all these results that are coming through. So this is where the nurses really, really help us so much. You can imagine for antifibrotic medications or immune suppressant medication, you may initially start to have blood tests every two weeks or a month for maybe the first three months, and then every three months, so you can imagine if a practice where a doctor operates maybe has 200 patients, you know, it can be really, really difficult to keep track of all these results that are coming through. So we need people to do, uh, to deliver good quality care. So again, uh, in certain countries such as the UK, ILD specialist nurses can also prescribe medication, which is fantastic because they can actually take the lead in certain aspects of care. So, for example, they can prescribe antifibrotic and discarring medication in the UK, which is fantastic. And then they can, um, you know, get involved in, uh, in changing uh, the doses for antifibrotics. If there are issues with tolerance to these medications, they can um, take the lead on blood monitoring, like I mentioned before, to make sure that the medication is tolerated well. Side effect management for these medications, prescribing other things, recommending other things for, for symptomatic treatments. Uh, so overall, you can imagine that the ILD specialist nurse role provides holistic care. And that's really, really important, especially in this field of complex conditions that affect maybe different aspects of a patient's uh, situation. So they really, really improve the patient experience, and I'm forever grateful for having the, had the chance to work with great specialist nurses in this field of ILD. And if your ILD uh, or pulmonary fibrosis service does not have an ILD nurse, I would really, really encourage you to please advocate to get one, to get one employed, to have someone recruited for this role, because we really need more funding in ILD care. It's really hard to provide very good quality care without the uh, adequately trained staff and nurses play, play a huge role. So, you know, sometimes patient pressure is needed to get uh, changes done to the system so that we can deliver better care for our patients. I hope you found this insightful. And if you have further questions, do leave them in the comment section below. See you in future videos. All the best.